Hey soulmate, welcome back to another video. So on this video, we'll be learning how to make this lovely pinafore dress. So stick around while we go down to the drafting of the pattern. So from our paper top, we'll mark it straight line. So that line will indicate our shoulder line. So from your shoulder line, you take you take the measurement from your shoulder to waist. Yeah, your your shoulder to waist measurement minus two for band. So if if so if for instance your shoulder to waist is nineteen, you minus two for band, and that is eighteen. That is seventeen. Sorry. So ignore this line. So from your shoulder line, you divide your shoulder by two. Shoulder sh your shoulder measurement divided by two. And you insert it there and uh, from that lid you minus one you minus one from that your shoulder measurement divided by two you minus one so from that one you minus you come down by one inch to get your shoulder slope and connect the way you see me connect so for your neckline from your center front you go in by three and a half three and a half so for your depth you come down by four inches yes and you connect using your curve ruler So for instance, if you wanted if you want to make a V neck or a different neck, you just come for, for a V neck, you come down by six or seven inches and uh, connect the way you see me connect like this with your straight ruler. That's for a V neck. So on this video, we are not doing that. We are working with our round neck. So on your waistline, you divide your waist circumference by eight. Your waist circumference by eight. For instance, if your waist is 28, 28 divided by 8, the answer you get, you insert it here. So you connect these two points together. So that is all for our front pattern. So we cut it out. So I end up adding sewing allowance while cutting it on every side except the neck area. So I'm just trying to indicate that this place will be cut on fold. So to get our back pattern, we will bring another pattern and place it underneath. So sorry guys, this my pattern is very very rough. So you place it the way you see me do and give allowance, give room for your for your zip allowance. This pinafore dress is going to have a zip at the back. So you trace off everything just the way you see me do. So the only difference that the only difference that that's going to that's going to make the back different from the front is just the zip and the neck. That is the only difference. So, so uh, I advise you pin with your pin while doing this for beginners. So you don't have, so you don't make mistake while trying to to trace out your back pattern. So you know on the front we came down by four inches to get our neck depth. So on the back we we'll go up by two inches from one from our front neck depth. We we'll go up by two inches. And connect just the way you see me connect like this, right? Yes, you can use the straight shoulder to do like this. So for our zipper, ignore this thing. I'm trying. I'm just writing here. Ignore it. So for our zipper allowance from our center front, we'll 
come in by one it will go out by one inch on our on our back pattern one inch to get our zipper allowance so we cut through guys remember that when you are taking your waist to shoulder measurements minus two for your band minus it so this is what you should be having by now so we place this pattern on our fabric to cut out so we place on our fabric your fabric should be on fold so exactly like you're seeing me do so you start cutting it remember that our pattern has allowance on it already so no need to add allowance while cutting you cut out exactly the way your pattern is exactly everything for beginners i advise you pin while before cutting pin down your fabric to your paper so you do the same thing to the back you cut out exactly everything you're seeing here. So I went ahead to cut out my lining, just the same way I did on the fabric. I just did the same thing on my lining. So I'm just showing you how you how you should do it. This is my lining. So it's time to join our lining to our fabric. So the right the right side of your lining should be facing the right side of your fabric. And the wrong side should be facing you. And you sew like this. You sew with less than half inch or half inch. So the same thing happens, goes to the back. The right side should be facing each other. While the wrong side should be facing you. Right side facing each other. While the wrong side should be facing you. And you sew half inch like this. And you, you stop fit on your zipper allowance. If... You added half inch for your zipper, you stop at the half inch. If you added one inch, you stop at the one inch. You sew like this and end on your zipper allowance. Same thing goes to the other side. Like this and end on your zipper allowance. You get so I'll show you what we have. So this is what I'm having after sewing. So it's time to notch. So I've, so I've sewn like this and it's time for me to notch. So I'm trying to notch so that my neckline will be balanced. So that my lining, lining will not be showing out. So this is how to notch. You get this out to notch. So the same thing you do to the back, into the front, you do it to the back. You sew it like this and end on your sewing and end on your zipper allowance. Don't sew your zipper allowance at at the neck area. You don't sew it, leave that place. They end the air. So you now top stitch, you now do the same thing did to the back, to the front, to the back. So it's time for us to top stitch. Stop stitch. So but just watch closely on what I'm doing on the video. This is how to stop stitch. This is the front. And this is the back. So you bring all your allowances to your back, to your lining. You bring all your allowances to your lining and sew on top of your allowances like that. So the same thing you do to the front, you do it to the back, like this. You see what I'm trying to, I'm bringing it closer to the camera so you see what I'm trying to demonstrate. So after that, you ironed. After ironing, this is what you should be having. 
a very neat finishing. You should be having this. You iron the both front and back. I was trying to show you what you should be having. You see how neat it is. So with this, your lining will not be coming up, coming outside your 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 dress. You see what we have at the back side. You see, I did not sew the allowances, the zipper allowance. I did not sew it. I, I did not top stitch it. So it's time to join our shoulders together, our front shoulder and our back shoulders together. It's time to do that. So just watch closely on what I'm doing in case you do not understand what I'm demonstrating. But watch closely on what I'm doing. I think I demonstrate more than than i explain right just let me know in the comment section do i do i explain more or than i than i demonstrate or which of them so you see what i'm trying to do on the shoulder so you do the same thing to the other side so after that it's time to join our both sides together i've already done the other side but i'm going to show you what how i did the other side your right side should be facing each other as always and the wrong side should be facing you making sure that the both shoulder lines are matching yes they should be matching the both shoulder should be matching and you sew like this half inch half inch you sew the way you see me demonstrate i've done it to the other side so i'm just using this other side as a demonstration to show us how I got here. So you do it and um, I will show you how to turn it to the wrong to the right side. I'm still demonstrating. So just watch it so after sewing it this is what you should be having i've sewn it so i'm trying to trim out the excess that we may have i'm just trimming 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 it's a trimming season here yeah. <laughs> so after trimming it's time to turn it to the right side so you took your hand on one of the back pattern like this on the shoulder line and you draw out your front just the way you see me do so you draw it out you draw it out as you are drawing as, as you are drawing out your front that is how the back the other back is pulling it so you draw everything out like you are seeing me do on the video So this is what you should be having after doing that. But I'm still going to do it back for 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 those of us that did not understand it to understand it. But if you understood the first explanation, please keep this one and just continue watching the video. Please, guys, just, I'm just trying for us to follow up. So this is what you should be having after joining your both sides together. Right? So for us to turn it to the right side, this breast, this breast, this breast, stop it. So after sewing in your both sides, for us to turn it to the right side, you took your hand on one of the back pattern through the shoulder line, like you see me do, and draw out. Just draw out. As you are draining out, you are draining, you are drawing out everything. You are drawing out the front, 
and the other back so this is what you should be having so right now we have our front outside so it's time to iron So you iron like this just the way you see me iron you iron like this make sure why, why iron you make sure that your lining is inside so i was ironing so i just decided to show us this arc so for you to put for for you not to um, um have your lining coming out of your fabric, you use it to your gum. This is a gum stay, guys. It, some people call it gum stay. Some people call it close gum. So I'm going to put a picture on what this thing is. So I just cut a small pieces of it, and, and you you insert it inside like this, close to the edge. That's the way you see me do, and you iron it. You I you continue ironing. So I I've already done it to the other part of it. So this is what the hemming gum or the clothes gum look like. So I've already done it to the other part of it. I just brought this part for us to see what I was doing. So you continue ironing, and this is what you should be having after ironing. So you see that our lining is inside it's not coming out it's not coming out it dares not to come out so this is what you should be having if you follow what i am showing you guys so we keep our back our back is already ready so keep it aside and move to the band so the band you divide you cut the band your waist circumference divided by four you cut it and you cut four pieces and the length of your band it depends on how long how long you want it skirt pattern so this is our basic skirt pattern i'm just trying to add our allowances our sewing allowance and our zipper allowance on our basic pattern so guys if you have not watched the video on how to draft the basic skirt Guys, please go watch the video on how to draft the basic skirt. It's on the channel. Just go and watch it. It's very, it's very detailed and very short. And if you're still cutting out your skirt pattern and you're dividing your hip by by four, no babes, we don't do that here. That is very old. We don't divide our hip by four, no. Reason being that our on our back, we have boots, we have bum bum, and your front hip is flat. So, why divide your hip by four if you want your skirt to be fitted and very, very, very nice? So, you, you give more rooms to your back pattern than the front at, at the hip region. So, watch the video and come back to this. So, we are done with that, and this is the front. So I'm just trying to paint my pattern on my fabric. And I'm trying to add allowance on my skirt length because I want my skirt to be longer than the new length. So I'm adding and I'm adding on my sewing allowance to my pattern. Remember, this is the front pattern. So after adding all my allowances, I'm going to cut it out. So 
so this is my back and this is my front so it's time to join our both parts together so i have went ahead to weave everywhere weave everywhere and um i have went ahead to sew in my zipper allowance you see from my skirts for my waist down i came in by nine inches and i sew it with a loose stitch loose stitch so from there i double stitch and i sew it down to where i want my slit to end you understand i sew it to, i sew it to that where i want my slit to end but if you're not adding slits you can you can sew it down to the to where to where your skirt end so after doing that you open press and iron you open and iron the way you're seeing me demonstrate so after that you start taking your measurements your hip div your waist second friends divided by four from there where you sewing that's where you place your tape and divide um, insert your waist second friends divided by four So your hip circumference divided by four. So on your 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 skirt lengths, you you put your hip circumference divided by four minus one and a half. If you want it to be very 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 pencil, minus one and a half. But if you want it, if you want it to be a bit pencil a pencil but still free your hip circumference minus one and you connect the way you're seeing me connect so after connecting this you sew it you go to your sewing machine and sew after sewing and you turn it to the other side and take your measurements and take your your measurements and so you understand my point after connecting these lines together the way i see me connects you go to your sewing machine and sew it in after sewing it in you turn it to this side and take your measurements you take your measurements and sew and after doing that you iron you iron and correct check your measurements. You correct check, correct check. If they are correct, then you are good to go. Then we we'll move to the band. So for the band, so I went ahead to sew it in like this. You know we have four pieces, so I have sewing. So I've sewed it into four to so have four two pieces instead of four. So this is our skirt pattern. So it's time for us to join our skirt to our band remember guys we are making a pinafone not a skirt so you find the midpoint of your skirt pattern and uh, you place your band the midpoint of your band should match the midpoint of your skirts and you place them like this that's the way you see me placing my band and my skirt pattern my skirt pattern should be in between my bands. My skirt pattern should be in between my bands. And I will spin and sew the way you see me demonstrate. I will sew like this. Why? Making, sh making sure that my band, my skirt is in between my two bands. Making sure that my skirt is in between my two bands. I will sew like the way you see me demonstrate. You see, I'll sew like that. So I'm just making sure that my my phone is still recording. So I'll sew like this, making sure that my band, my waist is in my sorry. Making sure that my skirt is in between my band. So I will show sew it and bring it to you guys. So this is what I've, I have after doing what I sh I demonstrated. So it's time for us to iron our band.
so after this you're going to iron it iron it iron it the way you see me ironing the way you see me demonstrate sorry you iron it and we should be having this so it's time for us to to fix our top to our skirt So the right, the wrong side of your top should be facing the right, right wrong side of your palm. The right, the wrong side facing each other, and you sew like the way you are seeing it demonstrates. Wrong side of your of your band, wrong side of your top. The midpoint should be should, should match each other, and you sew like this. You sew your top to your band. Your single band, like you see me demonstrate. So this is what you should be having after doing that. You see, we only saw one one of our band, so you fold it in the other band and sew it in like this. You sew it in like the way you see me demonstrate and sew it in like the you see me demonstrate. Making sure that the back is not affected. So before that, before you sew it in like that, you go back to your back. So I'm trying to arrange the back for us to understand properly before I start demonstrating. So I'm arranging the back for us to understand it properly. So this is our back the skirt and the top so this is what it should be looking like so the same thing you do to the front you do it to the back right side of your top should match the right side of your the wrong side of your band sorry the wrong side of your top should match the wrong side of your band Making sure that your zipper allowances are matching together. And you sew it in the way we did to the back, to the front. So the same thing happens to the other side, like this. Just the way you see me demonstrate, and so like this. So you should be having this. You can see that our, our, our back is very, very clean. Very, very clean. Our back, the, the inside of us, our, our, our pinafore is very, very neat. So I'm flipping it over to the right side. So I'm zooming it in for us to see what we're about to do. So you fold it in like the way I demonstrated earlier, earlier on, and you sew like this. You sew it like this, making sure that the back is not affected. Don't sew the back together like that. So you do just the same. Does does follow what I'm demonstrating? You see, you fold it in like this. And so you so sew it all true. So I'll bring it to the sewing machine for us to see for us to see it better. In case you don't understand how I demonstrated it on the other side. I think this is going to be more explanatory explanatory so please oh that English I don't speak I don't know if it's correct pardon me not to lie be <laughs> so this is how you should do it just follow just watch the video
I think I should. I think I, I. I should stop talking. Let me just allow you watch the video so you understand it more better, right? Yes. Shall I sing for you guys? And I can sing, girl. <laughs> So I believe we understood this process, right? Please guys, if you have watched this video to this extent, I believe you have learned one or two things from this video. Please, please guys, subscribe to my channel. Support this girl. Support me. Like my, my videos. Like it. Share it. Share my videos like it you understand please please i did beg now with english or with pigeon i beg help me so you should be having this by now so you iron it after this you iron so after ironing your band properly it's time for us to fix in our zip yes and this is the final stage. So you you fixing your zip the way you see me do. When you go to your upper bodies, you don't sew your zip with your lining. You only sew your zip alone with the fabric. You sew your zip, making sure that you do not sew it. Don't sew your zip with your lining. You're going to use that to turn it. So you do the same thing to the other side. You sew it like this, the way you see me demonstrate. Don't sew your lining together with it, oh. only your, your fabric. You sew it like the way you see me demonstrate. And there, and um, you sew it, after sewing the other side, you sew it the other side So After sewing it, you iron it, iron it properly. Correct check your hip measurements and your waist circumference measurement. Correct check those two measurements first before you come to the stage. So I have sewn my zip and I've correct and I've um, measured my hip my my I have correct check my my waist circumference measurements. So I have went ahead to turn the other side of my fabric with my lining. As you can see, very neat finisher. So it's time for us to do it on the other side. So I'll show you what, how I did, how I did it. So you do it the way I see me do. You, yeah, you flip it like this and sew, you sew. While sewing, you flip in, you, you flip in your, your front to give you room to sew. It's not going to be easy, but guys, sewing is not easy, you know now. So you take your time and do what does follow what I'm doing on the video. After that, this is what you should be having. Oh, I think a four is ready. So you should be having this ironing, ironing. You know me by now. You should know me with ironing. Iron guys, I've not ironed this so, but iron. And you should be having this. Can't you see how beautiful it looks on our client? Can't you see how everything is sweet? Mm? It's giving. It's giving. Bye, guys. I love you.